In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to apply this insanely easy morph transition effect to instantly level up your next presentation. Now let's get started. I'm going to start by turning on guides to make things easier to follow. Now paste your image onto a blank slide. For this tutorial, it's important that the image is high resolution so that it doesn't lose clarity when we enlarge it. If you can't find the right image, you can try to improve the clarity of your existing image using an online image upscaler. I use platforms like img.upscaler when needed. Now I'm going to set up and adjust the guides to mark the boundaries of the slide. This will make it easier to position the image for the morph transition. Just right click, select Grid and Guides and click Add Guide as I'm doing. Next, enlarge the image, bringing the point you want to highlight into focus. Then type in your text. I'm leaving the font details in the description. Once you're happy with your title text, duplicate the slide. Here, we're going to enlarge the image further and bring the point we want to emphasize into focus. In this case, it's the dome. Now insert a rounded rectangle and change its color. Then right-click and select Format Shape. I'm just going to quickly switch to a lighter shade of black. Then I'm going to increase transparency up to 50%. Swap out the text and add any necessary adjustments. Now duplicate the slide again and adjust the image as we did before. You can check if the image is positioned to your liking by keeping an eye on the slide previews on the left or by playing the slideshow as you work. Next, delete the content, readjust the shape, and paste in your new content. Repeat this process for the remaining slides. Once you're done, select all the slides, go to Transitions, and select Morph. You can also change the effects options. I chose objects to which applies Morph to the rounded rectangles. You can also adjust the speed of the transition here. I set it to 1 for a faster effect. There you have it. 
This effect is perfect for labeling or captioning images in PowerPoint and can be used in a variety of ways. You can check out more creative PowerPoint tutorials on my channel. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment letting me know what kinds of tutorials you'd like me to cover next. Take care.